this is Orblands, uh, which is a kind of, uh, it's billed as an experimental first person shooter by the developer Chris Cunningham, but um, it's secretly, or not so secretly, a walking simulator with um, cool shooty rainbow balls. <laughs> Um, so here is the first thing that I spawned into when I was playing this morning, the first level. They're randomly generated from a particular list of preset components, I think, and so I, I've just hit N to um, to get to a different permutation, and you can already see how different it is. There are tree stumps and purple grasses, and the sky box is very different. It's really cool. Um, also, when I play it full screen, um, initially the reticle is, is off to the left, and so you sort of have to press N to force it to, to centre. Um, and that is one of the rainbow balls that whizzes past, and, and ostensibly the aim of the game seems to be to shoot the number of those which populate each world. You can actually see the counter in the top left and each time you either complete the the shooting of all of that particular world's rainbow balls um, or if you just hit N, both, both of those take you to a new environment and thus uh, up the count of the things that you need to shoot by one. Um, that come back. <laughs> I'm not really uh, interested in mastering the shooting particularly, apart from um, if I shoot one of the things close up, it does this awesome little confetti shower rainbow thing. Um, sort of all over the screen, which is quite cool. Um, but yeah, so this is the next one, it's this uh, sort of dusky, uh, lagoon type environment. Um, ooh, that was quite skilled. Uh, <laughs> that's just, maybe I should stop recording now. <laughs> okay, awesome, right, let's go to the top of this mountain and see what we can see. Uh -huh. So you can kind of imagine what that would be like a lot closer up. I've managed to um, shoot a few of them when they were inches from the camera and that ends up as more of a little celebratory firework display. Ooh! <laughs> That's cool. Um, I'm not really sure what some of the elements are. Uh, so there's things like those blue crystal bits that you can see on the ground and I'm not sure whether they are just environmental ooh, that's pretty um, environmental uh, assets in the same way that the grass and the monuments and things are. Um, but they seem to have a, a sparkle trail on them that the the rainbow ball shooty things do so I kept wasting my ammo trying to actually shoot those for the longest time, <laughs> just to, assuming that maybe that was how you got extra ammo, because you have a limited amount on each level, and so if you run out of that before um, before you've taken out all of these objectives, I guess, then you end up um, failing that level, whatever that means to you. Um, one trick trick I guess <laughs> that I discovered was it's actually easier to shoot uh, the, the balls from underwater um, not necessarily right now but um, you can kind of see how being underwater strips out being able to see a bunch of the uh, other environmental elements Ooh, toadstools huh? pyramids I wonder if we can get to them, or whether they are skybox decorations. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> They've gone on a beach holiday. <laughs> right, let's go over here and see how far we can get. Do, do, do. Hmm, I think we are not moving. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that's 
that's the end of the playable world so they are skybox decorations but that's really cool they kind of lend a different feel let's see maybe I should just sort of see about just force generating a new new world hmm oh, that's kind of more of an afternoon picnic spot <laughs> Close-ups of the grass, and then, <laughs> and then we're done. Thanks.